short-range missiles are vital components of a nation's defense architecture. Because, not all threats require the deployment of long-range air defense systems. In many situations, threats can emerge from shorter distances, such as across borders, or from within a country's own airspace. For example, the spy balloon in South Carolina that originated from China was shot down, using a short-range Sidewinder missile. It provides a rapid response to such threats, which might not be effectively covered by longer-range systems. Additionally, it is used for quick reactions when dealing with fast-moving and agile targets to protect critical infrastructure, military installations, and naval vessels. Moreover, short-range systems like the AIM-9X are generally less expensive than long-range systems such as the S-400 or THAAD. India has its own indigenous short-range missile, known as the VLSR-SAM missile. The missile is as derived from the Astra Mark I air-to-air -air missile. While VLSR-SAM is launched from vertical launch systems, an Astra Mark I is launched from a fighter jet. The missile has taken core technologies from the Astra Mark I, and even the airframe of the missile looks similar. However, the VLSR-SAM possesses a jet vane-based thrust vectoring control, which is not present in the Astra missiles. Instead, the Astra missile primarily relies on mid-course inertial guidance, driven by a fiber-optic gyroscope, with terminal guidance, through active radar homing. It uses a smokeless solid-fueled motor for propulsion, and is equipped with an active radar seeker for target detection and tracking. While thrust vectoring is not something completely new in missile technology, it's not found in all kinds of missiles. Missiles like Sidewinder and the Russian R-73 missiles also have thrust vectoring control technology. The thrust vectoring technology in missiles is similar to what we see in thrust vectoring engines in fighter jets. It involves changing the direction of the exhaust gases produced by a missile's propulsion system. By controlling these exhaust gases, the missile can change its flight path and direction. How is thrust vectoring applied to missiles, compared to aircraft? In fighter jets and other aircraft, thrust vectoring can be controlled manually by the pilot or automatically by the aircraft's flight control system. In some aircraft, pilots can manually adjust the direction of the engine nozzles to achieve desired maneuvers. This can provide them with precise control over the aircraft's orientation during flight. Some modern aircrafts have fly-by-wire systems where the pilot's inputs are interpreted by the flight control computer, which then automatically adjusts various control surfaces, including thrust vectoring nozzles, to achieve the desired maneuver. In missiles, Thrust vectoring is often automated, due to the high speeds and dynamic flight conditions involved. Advanced algorithms and guidance systems are used to automatically adjust the thrust vectoring mechanisms to achieve the desired flight path, trajectory changes, and targeting accuracy. These algorithms take into account factors such as the missile's current position, target location, and environmental conditions to determine the optimal thrust vectoring angles for maneuvering. The algorithms used in missile thrust vectoring systems are designed to ensure that the missile stays on its intended course, effectively tracks its target, and responds to changes in flight conditions. The automation of thrust vectoring in missiles is crucial to achieving the required level of agility and responsiveness, especially during high-stress phases of flight such as launch or terminal guidance. So, why was thrust vectoring used in VLSR-SAM? The VLSR-SAM is launched vertically from naval vessels using vertical launch systems. 
This launch orientation introduces unique challenges compared to traditional horizontal air launches. Thrust vectoring helps the missile maintain stability during the initial phases of launch and ensures that it follows the desired flight path. When a missile is launched vertically, it needs to quickly transition from a stationary position on the launcher to a controlled flight path. Thrust vectoring enhances the missile's ability to rapidly adjust its trajectory and course, enabling it to respond swiftly to threats and engage targets effectively. Thrust vectoring provides the missile with increased maneuverability. It allows the missile to execute high G-turns and make rapid changes in direction, which is crucial for engaging agile and evasive aerial targets. With thrust vectoring, the missile can achieve better control over its flight, ensuring that it can accurately intercept targets, even in complex engagement scenarios. Atomic.